Welcome to Shri Satya Sai Lok Seva Gurukulam online classes. Let's learn English series with Mrs. Kalpana Heblekar. So today we are going to learn the usage of was and were in sentences. Okay. So always we have a doubt like can and could. We have a doubt where to use was and where to use were. So after this lesson you will always be thorough. Okay. So let us see when to use was and were correctly in sentences. Now, was and were are past tenses of the verb to be. Okay. The verb to be is an irregular verb and it does not follow any pattern or rules in its conjugation. This we did in the last classes, right? Yes. The verb to be is an irregular verb and it does not follow any pattern or rules in its conjugation. When to use was and were depends on two factors. The first one is person that is first person, second person or third person. When the verb is in past indicative or past subjunctive tense. Okay, let us read again. Was and were are past tenses of the verb to be. The verb to be is an irregular verb and it does not follow any pattern or rules in its conjunction. Okay. When to use was and were depends on two factors. Now the first factor is person that is first person, second person or third person. Okay. And then second is when the verb is in past indicative or past subjunctive tense. Now, when to use was and were correctly in the sentence? Past indicative. Now, we have already done this. Revise again. Past indicative is used for ordinary objective statements or questions. Example, he was a national baseball team's captain. He was a national baseball team's captain. In the past indicative, usage of was or were depends on the subject. Now, let us see if the subject is I, it will be was in the past indicative. Okay. Then when it subject is you, it will be were in the past indicative. He, she, it will be the subject and was will be the past indicative usage. Okay. Then we, you and they. All this will have were in the past indicative. Okay. So, this table is clear. You write it down because it is easy reference. You will never make a mistake. But do not forget to write this past indicative. Okay. That is very important. Then again, let us see past subjunctive. Now, what is past subjunctive? Past subjunctive is used for imaginary or hypothetical statements or questions. Okay. Example, he wishes he were a national baseball team's captain. If I were you, I would support the cause. If I were you, I would support the cause. Now, for past subjunctive, were is always correct. Okay. Now, see, if the subject is I, it will not be was, it will be were. If the subject is you, then it will be were only in past subjunctive. This is very important. Okay. So, when you take down this also, do not forget to put this past subjunctive. Okay. He, she, it were, we were, you were, they were. Okay. Then note that all the subjunctive sentences are accompanied with phrases like if as if, though, I wish, he wishes, etc. Okay. When to use was? Was is a past tense indicative form of be and is used in the first person singular that is I and third person singular he, she, it. Was is used for statements of facts. Okay. Example, I was the leader of my school. 
a free medical hospital was opened in Sri Lanka last month. Okay. So, was is a past tense indicative form of be and is used in the first person singular I and third person singular he, she, it. Was is used for statement of facts. Okay. It is telling the fact. I was the leader of my school. So, it is a fact, right? He was the leader. So, a free medical camp was opened in Sri Lanka last month. That is also a fact. Okay. Then, were is used for both the first person plural, that is we, and third person plural, they, and for the second person, you. See, were is used for both first person plural, we, and third person plural, they, and for the second person, that is you. Similar to was, were is also used for statements of facts. Yes, we were sleeping when the train crossed the river. They were going to the stadium. However, were is used for all persons when the tense is in subjunctive mood. That is, for imaginary, unreal and conditional. Example, if I were not having cold, I would win the singing competition. Okay. When to use were? The following phrases are incorrect. I wish I was. Mostly when we are talking, we say that, you know, I wish I was. But it is wrong. I wish I was. I wish it was. He wishes he was. She wishes she was. Okay. This is wrong way of uh, speaking. The following examples are correct. I wish I were the winner of the beauty context. Okay. He wishes he were selected. So now these are very important. I will repeat again. The following phrases are incorrect. Means never use when you are talking. That is conversation. I wish I was. I wish it was. He wishes he was. She wishes she was. The following examples are correct. I wish I were the winner of the beauty contest. He wishes he were selected. Okay. When to use there was and there was. There were. Okay. There was and there were. Yes. Was and were are also used in some instances with the pronoun there. T-H-E-R-E. -E, there. Okay. This pronoun there introduces a sentence or clause in which the verb comes before its subject or those instances where the verb has no complement. Okay. So, it will come before its subject or where the verb has no complement. Okay. When the subject that follows is singular, use was. Hmm? So, example, when I lit the Diwali bomb, there was a loud explosion. Okay. When the subject that follows its plural, use were. Example, when I lit the Diwali shots, there were many spectacular sights in the sky. Okay. Now, you have understood the difference between the two. There was and there were. Okay. So, now let us see what is the spiritual knowledge for loud reading and handwriting practice. Now, let us see. Time, power, money and body may not cooperate every time in life. But good nature, good understanding, spiritual path and true spirit will always cooperate in life. Okay. So, write it down carefully with correct spellings and good handwriting and you can give it to your friends also. So, with this, we have come to the end of this chapter. Thank you for watching Sri Satisai Lok Seva Gurukulam online classes.
Let's Learn English series. I pray to God to keep you happy and prosperous in all your future endeavors. Thank you. Sairam.